Hey guys, it's Jay Sankey here from the Inside Deception Magic and Mentalism Training site. Uh, I was super excited when Rich Ferguson invited me back here on his great YouTube channel. So thank you so much, Rich. Uh, you know, I'm really happy for all the success you're having with your channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just an awesome place. And one of the things I really love about this channel, and I thought about for a bit when trying to figure out what I wanted to share with you guys today, uh, is, you know, Rich really focuses on both magic and pranks. And where is that line? Where, where, where do they meet up? So I'm going to share with you a really cool, shocking kind of stunt magic trick slash prank that you can do at a house party. You can do it at school lunchroom. You can do it almost anywhere. Uh, it requires one very simple slide and looks like real magic. For this cool trick, all you need is an ordinary bottle cap and an ordinary straw. If I just warm up the bottle cap just a little bit, I can actually take the straw and mm, jam it right through the bottle cap and can hand out everything to be examined. Now, this is all about visuals. The key to this trick is it looks impossible, all right? And like I said, it's sort of a prank, it's sort of a trick. It's the kind of thing you can give it away to people and people will swear it's a holy relic because it looks impossible. The technique is super simple and in fact, gravity helps you pull off this cool stunt. What I have here is a bottle cap, all right? Now it is ordinary and what I did is I took a nail and I hammered the nail, okay, kind of a, just, just the nail through the middle of the cap, all right? Then what I did is I took this straw and I slipped it through. Now the, what you really want to do is make sure it's the size nail that when you hammer it through, it grips the straw so it stays stuck on there, all right? Now to conceal this is the easiest thing in the world because this is how you normally hold the straw with your fingers and thumb. And if you're, as long as you're relaxed, no one will ever think, hey, wait a second, I think there's a bottle cap somehow on that straw. Now you're going to use a second bottle cap. That's the key to this, right? So if you're at the school cafeteria or if you're the bar or the work lunchroom, whatever, just make sure you're using a couple of bottle caps that uh, you can even pretend to find this on the floor. Or, what, you know, you can even be having lunch with somebody and say, uh, hey, Bob, can you pass that bottle cap? And while he picks it up off the other table, someone left it there. You say, I'm going to show you something. Maybe it's a Coca-Cola bottle cap. I hold it like this. My fingers are together, which means that if I loosen my, if I release the grip on the cap just a little bit, it falls behind my fingers. That's all I'm doing is let it fall behind my fingers. But I'm combining it with this action of jabbing, okay? And you can play this up. You can wave this over and lighter, rub this on your arm. You can breathe on it. You can talk about having got to the gym a fair bit. And now, you know, I've been getting to the gym more. And I feel like a lot stronger. Look, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, you can do it for real. You can do it as a gag if you want. You're here and all I'm going to do, let me expose for you here, is I'm going to jab down. And this is going to fall here. And all I have to worry about, my only focus is to jab down and make sure my fingers and thumb then grab that, okay? This is based on a classic move by Di Vernon, uh, just a, a brilliant magician from a whole long time ago, but it's called the Spellbound. And he's here, and that's there, and all I do is I come up and I jab and I let the one fall and I leave. That image alone is going to get people to just, you know, people freak out at that. It looks ridiculous. Then all I'm going to do here is pull this up and away, and my hand is going to hold the other bottle cap, and I'm just going to let it fall to my side, all right? You could even be sitting at a table, and as soon as you do the boom like this, turn your hand and let the cap just fall into your lap. There's so much focus on this that as soon as I go boom like this and take this up like this, everybody wants to examine the bottle cap. People are assuming there's got to be, the straw couldn't have actually gone through the cap, and when people find out that the straw is actually going through the cap, they lose their minds every single time. If you want to learn some more basic tricks, please subscribe to the Sankey Magic YouTube channel. And for those of you who want to take your magic, mentalism, and pranking to the next level, definitely check out my Inside Deception training site, featuring 25 different categories of videos, including coin magic, card magic, mentalism, pranks, meeting women with magic and bars, and much more. There's also a forum area, monthly zine, and an exclusive download section where you can print out your own custom gimmicks.